Samsung 980 Pro, Best PCIe 4 SSD. The 980 Pro is here to lead Samsung's foray into the PCIe 4 era. This new SSD can deliver read speeds up to 7000 MB per second, and write speeds up to 5000 MB per second. It's not the cheapest PCIe 4 SSD out there, but it's definitely the fastest. This drive will be ideal for future PC games that can leverage Microsoft's Direct Storage API, or as a hard drive for your PlayStation 5. Crucial P5 Plus, a valid alternative. The Crucial P5 Plus is the evolution of the P5 and focuses on improving performance. Engineered for creative professionals and gamers who want more efficient workflows and faster load times, the P5 Plus is a great 4th gen SSD that sells for a reasonable price considering its feature set. The 1 terabyte version hits 6600 megabytes per second read and 5000 megabytes per second write speeds, impressively high numbers, especially when compared to 3rd gen SSDs like the Samsung 980 and the Western Digital Black SN750. Additionally, the P5 Plus meets the minimum spec requirements to work with the PlayStation 5, so it's the most affordable way to increase console storage. Although it focuses more on value than extreme performance, this SSD was able to keep up with the Samsung 980 Pro and Western Digital Black SN850 in most applications. If you can't afford the best of the best, the P5 Plus is a valid alternative worth your consideration. Western Digital Black SN850 Best PCIe 4 Gaming SSD Western Digital created a winner with the Black SN850. The SN750's upgrade goes from PCIe 3 to 4, thus doubling its speed. The Samsung 980 Pro earned our title of Best PCIe 4 SSD, but only at the photo finish. Since the differences between the two are almost non-existent, the Western Digital unit consumes a tad more power, runs hotter, and doesn't have 256-bit ICE encryption, we have given the SN850 the title of Best Gaming SSD. You can't go wrong with either, and our advice is to buy the least expensive of the two. Also remember that you will need a PC that can take advantage of the new PCIe 4 interface. Otherwise, we recommend buying one of the best PCIe 3 SSDs, such as the Samsung 970 EVO Plus, thus saving a good chunk of money. Crucial MX500, best SATA SSD for most people. The Crucial MX500 uses the old SATA 3 interface, meaning it is slower than NVMe drives, but also more universally compatible. Don't be fooled by other cheaper SATA SSDs with slightly higher transfer speeds on paper, in real-life tests, the MX500 constantly beats these drives. Despite Samsung dominating the high-end segment of solid-state technology, Crucial dominates the economy segment. Thanks to its parent company Micron, Crucial is able to offer SSDs that utilize its own high-quality flash memory at an exceptional price. The MX500 costs less than the Samsung 860 EVO, but offers an almost identical performance, given the speed limit imposed by the SATA 3 interface. Recapitulating, the Crucial MX500 is cheap and much faster than any rotating hard drive, has a 5-year warranty, like all other SSDs in this list, and supports 256-bit hardware-based encryption. It is available in both the classic 2.5-inch and the newer M.2 form factor, the interface is always SATA 3 though, and therefore can fit in almost every desktop or laptop computer. If you own a relatively recent computer, the Western Digital Blue SN550 delivers far better performance for roughly the same price. Samsung 860 EVO, valid alternative. If your PC is equipped with an M.2 NVMe socket, then we recommend the Samsung 960 EVO, otherwise the Samsung 860 EVO is a great choice. When it comes to SATA drives, the Samsung 860 EVO finishes first in almost all benchmarks, and its price is not that prohibitive. Since the entirety of Samsung SSDs are made in-house, the company is able to be very aggressive with their pricing. The Samsung 860 EVO replaces the 850 EVO. Since both of them use the SATA 3 interface, the 860 EVO is not faster than the previous model. However, its improved durability is definitely worth the modest investment. It doesn't offer the same durability as the Pro models though, but neither the added cost. If you're looking for a new SATA SSD, you can't go wrong with the Samsung 860 EVO. Samsung 970 EVO Plus, Best NVMe SSD for Most People 
The Samsung 970 EVO Plus uses the same controller as its predecessor, but instead of refreshing the flash memory unit, Samsung decided to use its new 96-layer TLC non-flash. Doing so, the random writing performance of the 970 EVO Plus has been improved by up to 57% over the previous model. This drive is perfect for tasks that require a continuous stream of data, such as 4K video editing, photo editing using raw images with the highest resolution possible, and 3D rendering in real time. However, for games we prefer the Western Digital Black SN750, Samsung 870 EVO, Best SATA SSD. Samsung's EVO series has been at the top of our list of best SSDs since 2014, and the new 870 is a great choice for people who want the perfect mix of speed, price, and reliability. Following in the footsteps of its predecessor, the 870 EVO offers the best performance on the SATA interface, great energy efficiency, and magician software. And Samsung offers all this at a reasonable price. If you want a solid SATA SSD with a capacity of up to 4 terabytes, the Samsung 870 EVO is your best choice. AdLink S70, best bang for your buck. If you want top performance without spending an arm and a leg, check out the AdLink S70. AdLink has been the catalyst for the recent price drop of NVMe SSDs, cutting them down to the cost of SATA models. Without the branding, the S70 is almost identical to Seagate's more noteworthy Fire CUDA. It is also on par with the WD Black SN750, which made Western Digital slash its price in order to compete. Although AdLink is not as famous as Seagate or Western Digital, the S70 uses a Fison E12 controller and Toshiba's 3D TLC non-memory, so there's nothing to worry about reliability. It also offers a 5-year warranty to put you even more at ease. The 512GB S70 is probably the best cheap SSD you can buy today. That said, the performance of the WD Blue SN550 is more than enough for most users, and this model costs even less. When competing SATA SSDs cost the same, and Samsung ones cost more but without offering a big advantage in speed, then the AdLink S70 is an excellent choice whether you're building a PC for work or gaming. Western Digital Black SN750, Best Gaming NVMe SSD Western Digital is a giant in the hard drive industry, but only recently began to catch up in the SSD market, following the acquisition of SanDisk. It was worth the wait though. The Western Digital Black SN750 can rival Samsung's Evo SSD's performance. The combination of memory controllers and flash memory all built in-house, means that the manufacturing process is on par with that of Samsung. And that means Western Digital can be just as aggressive with pricing. Introduced last year, the Western Digital Black SN750 is still one of the best performing NVMe SSDs, and was partially responsible for the price drop we observe today. But why do we consider it the best NVMe SSD for gaming? This SSD has an extremely high random read speed, which should make games load almost instantly. In addition to the excellent speeds, Western Digital equipped this SSD with its black dashboard. This application allows you to modify the disk settings and monitor its performance. There is also a more expensive version with a heatsink, so that the unit will stay cool even after hours of gaming, but we don't think it's necessary. Western Digital Blue 3D NAND, the cheapest SATA SSD. If you're looking to add an SSD to your desktop PC or laptop on the cheap, then look no further than the Western Digital Blue 3D NAND. It uses the older SATA 3 standard, but is still a great SSD, found at bargain prices.